Hello everyone. Welcome back to my pipe drive tutorial series where I talk about setting up pipe drive the right way and how to use it efficiently to get the most out of your CRM systems and processes. In this video, we are going to talk about customizing the notification settings inside your pipe drive account. So let's jump right into your pipe drive account. Currently I'm in my company settings page from here I'm going to go to notifications the first thing I'm going to do is uncheck this disable real-time notifications about updates as they happen when you check this checkbox what you'll notice is that anytime you update any object inside pipe drive your screen at the bottom right will start showing notifications as and when any change is made to any deal, any uh, person, any organization record and even for activities. So I don't want that kind of distraction because most of the times Pipedrive will show me updates to objects that I am making changes to myself. So those kind of notifications, they don't make sense. And the value of notifications is in getting fewer of them but getting them when they are really required so we are trying to reduce the number of notifications that we get and at the same time ensure that we are only getting notifications about important events from here i'm going to go to open sales assistant settings i can go here from this icon in the top right as well so I can click the bulb icon and click the settings icon here. And now let's go through all the options that are available to us when trying to customize the kind of notifications that we get. So the first one is about notifying me about email tracking. So do I want to track emails? I don't, but you can set this to yes. I don't want this. So for example, assuming I wanted th these emails, I would want it under alerts and I can, at the end of this list, I'll show you where to find all of those notifications in one place, well, especially since we have disabled in-app desktop notifications. So I'm going to remove them from summary emails. Activity reminders, I don't need any of them at all. Updates on what I follow, I don't need any of them at all. Analytics and personalized tips, I don't want any of them. Comments, yes, I absolutely want them when other team members are tagging me on comments. So I want them as alerts, I want them uh, to send me a separate email for every comment. Yes, mentions, uh, there's no option to switch it off for mentions, but I'm going to have the same alerts set up for mentions as well as comments assigned to you uh, not so much or in fact yeah he, here's where I'm a little divided so assuming somebody has assigned to me something the right way they will also assign any outstanding activities against those deals or, or those people uh, to me as well so if they do that activities assigned to those newly assigned deals or persons will show up against uh, or in my activities list so i may leave this as alert but i will exclude it from my summary emails product updates i'm not so much interested in them daily email timing i'm not so much interested in this but that's completely all right now since we have set up these preferences let's see where to find all of these notifications I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you how to come to this view again. So let's say I'm working out of my activities view. Nothing is due for today, but I want to see if I have any important notifications. So the cool thing here is the moment you see this bulb icon go yellow, it's a signal to you that there are some new notifications that would be useful to you. So whenever this turns yellow, check what is the notification and then you can come back to your sales process right now it's not yellow but i can quickly go and see 
what notifications I have that I need to take a look at. So I'm going to click the bulb icon and I'm going to click on all notifications. And here I can quickly check items or in fact notifications that are not very useful to me. So I'm going to mark all of these as red and I'm done. Now you can filter these notifications by their type as well. So for example, email tracking would be a separate list of notifications for me. And let's say I'm sending uh, proposals to my clients. I can track if they have opened my emails, if they have clicked on any of the email that I've sent them. Now the use of this practice is debatable, but either way, Pipedrive gives you those options. There are notification options for comments as well as mentions and whenever something is assigned to you as well. So a lot of this will follow the settings that you have defined under your notification settings. Hopefully this made sense. Uh, ideally, uh, you should make it a habit to come to this tab at least once a day and see if you have not missed or if you have missed any important notifications. So at least once a day, ideally a couple of times a day to come back and check to ensure that things are not falling through the cracks. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. If you need help with your Pipedrive account, a link to my Calendly account is in the video description below. If you're new to Pipedrive and if, if you want to give it a spin, you can sign up for a 30 day free trial of Pipedrive using the link in description below. I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.